Hello and welcome to this short video from Infront Consulting Group on our Infront Write Facts Management Pack for System Center Operations Manager. I'm here today to walk you through some of what we're able to monitor and what we see in front of us here in the Infront Management Pack or Write Facts Management Pack that plugs into SCOM is the different views on the left hand side here of our um, SCOM console. This is the thick client. We also have the web console, which is native to SCOM. And you'll see here that the same set of views exists within that web console, allowing you to access and see the health of your WriteFax environment through a web console, really anywhere, uh, which could be secured through HTTPS or anywhere internally in, on your network while on your Wi-Fi or your uh, LAN through a browser um, when you're at work. Here we have the WriteFax dashboard. So the purpose of the WriteFax dashboard is the feedback we've received from a number of customers is they want a single pane of glass view into the overall health of their WriteFax environment. Now, the WriteFax environment that we have is very simplistic. It's a single WriteFax server. It's spun up and running in Amazon Web Services, and we spin it up for the purpose of the demos and then spin it down. Uh, and all of that is automated behind the scenes through some automation technology that we're very familiar with. Here we have the WriteFax server. We can see that the WriteFax server has an alert. So it tells us in the WriteFax server health that there is an alert. If we wanted to select that alert and get more details, you'll see that in the task pane on the right, there are a number of things that we can do. We can run some reports and then we can flip through some different navigation options, including selecting Health Explorer. Health Explorer will tell us exactly what is unhealthy with our WriteFax environment, and it will drill down. It's got a set of filters enabled by default, and it will drill down to um, the monitor that has generated the alert and found something critical on the system. And if we select that, this is our synthetic fax transaction. So what we've built in to the right fax management pack is the ability at scheduled intervals that you can define, whether it's every 5, 10, 15 minutes or every hour, you can set up a test fax to be sent. Now you can send it from one user to another user or from the same user, and then we can confirm receipt of that. And we do that by connecting through the right fax API. They have a COM API that Open Text makes available. And we integrate with that both for the synthetic fax transaction, but we also do that for collecting performance information that isn't exposed through normal Windows performance counters. And what you'll see here on the state changes tab is that the different day and time that it went from healthy to critical is listed here and we can see the actual description or message. So failed to send the test fax to Matthew with an error waiting for conversion and that fax status error is, is equal to eight. So now we can go about trying to resolve that, connect to our right fax console and look into what might be causing that issue. But it allows us to see the health of faxing from the perspective of users of our fax service, whether they're internal or external. And it would also then tell us that queues are building up and there are delays in faxing. So there are certain timeouts built into this where after say 5,000 or 15,000 seconds and all of that is configurable, that the alert will fire if the fax is still stuck in a queue. And you'll then be able to see down at the bottom in the performance section as well, your queues. So you have your document transmission queue and you can be monitoring that. You can change the time frame of this by uh, selecting on that view and then modifying the properties of that view. You can see faxes sent, faxes received, and this is on a per server basis. So you can actually then add multiple servers to this. Right now, we just have the right fax server listed, but if I had 10 right fax servers, I could check all of those off and I'd see 10 different lines in the graph with different colors representing each of the different 10 right fax servers. I can see the number of events processed. I can see if there are any active alerts. So I do have an active alert that has to do with my fax being unable to send and then in my deployments. 
Now, if we skip down and look at the right facts deployments diagram, this gives a very visual look at what's going on. And if I just change the layout slightly so we can see this a little better, here you can see the overall layout of all of the different roles and components that are in our right facts environment. This could be much more sophisticated in yours. And here, for example, in our right facts users group, we've gone out and discovered the everyone group, which is default, and then a level one users group. And we can see that a user that's a member of the level one users group is having an issue sending a fax. So if we right click on this, and again, we go into Health Explorer, we can bring up and see what user is having that challenge. And by going into state changes, you'll see that the user ID Andy with a user routing code of 103 is having an issue sending a fax and it's been one, one fax that they've had an issue with. And this is the date and the time in which that error occurred. So it quickly and uh, easily allows you to identify where there are issues in the environment. We can expand some of these other uh, options here and we can drill down into what's available. So this is a synthetic transaction for the SQL Server backend for WriteFax, whether it's clustered or it's standalone. This is a query that we run again on a scheduled interval that's configurable that allows you to test that SQL is responding because obviously that's critical to support your WriteFax infrastructure. And then finally, under the work server, we dynamically discover the different work servers and each work server has a different name. So we dynamically discover those. So there's no manual configuration required on your monitoring team's part or your part to get this put into place and actually monitoring all of the elements in your right facts environment. SCOM and our management pack that plugs into it will do that dynamically for you. Going back to that watcher, this is the uh, view, the right facts database watcher view that allows you to see that. And here we can see that it's healthy. You can see the SQL connection string at the bottom and then the full path name to where that's located. Um, and it's just called the right facts database watcher. So if you had multiple right facts databases, it, we'd have a watcher for each of those. Each one would be dynamically discovered and we'd be able to alert you on a, a SQL issue. We can also see the list of right fax servers. So if you had 10 right fax servers, all of those would be listed here. If you selected one, what we can see is the right fax database watcher is healthy, but the server, the right fax server is in a critical state. And that critical alert, as we saw before, comes from the inability to send <clears throat> a test fax um, through to our user Matthew. At the bottom here, you can see some other information that we have dynamically discovered. So the server GUID, the cluster GUID, any hotfix information, minor version, service packs, version information. So this allows you to quickly see whether all of your right fax servers are consistent in terms of their minor version or service pack or any of the other information. And it's presented down here, but we can also add any of these fields or variables properties to uh, as a column up at the top here so that you could see them presented. And again, on a single pane of glass, you'd be able to see that everything was at version 16 and everything was at minor version 96, service pack zero and hotfix zero. And if anything was not consistent or standardized, then you could go about resolving that very quickly by identifying the anomalies. If we look at the features, we discover all of the features and all of the feature GUIDs and whether or not they're configured. So this gives you again, a very uh, logical view. Uh, and if we sort these by configured versus not configured, you can see the elements that are not configured in our environment versus those that are. Uh, and this happens again, across all of your right fax servers in a complex environment. Uh, as a partner of the Facts Guys, we put in a URL to the Right Facts University, which is a great site to learn more about Right Facts as a whole. Um, it requires an internet connection, obviously, to work, and you'd be able to watch some videos and get up to speed. The Right Facts Users Group, we looked into that alert when we were looking at the deployments diagram a minute ago. This gives you a look at the discovered group. So many large customers would have maybe 10 or hundreds of groups. All of those would be listed. And if a user that's a member of those groups was having an issue sending a fax like Andy, we'd see that here. And we can, again, select that alert and we can go into uh, opening Health Explorer for that. And we could see the details on the state changes tab.
which we saw earlier, which shows that Andy's the user and the user routing code 103. And this is when it went from a, a healthy to a critical state. We can also look at performance information. Now, we used to collect this through SNMP, but we found that a lot of customers don't buy the SNMP module. So we've replaced that by using the COM API from WriteFax. And this is something that um, is very unique to our offering. And it allows us to query for all of the different performance rules that are exposed through the COM API. And they're quite significant. Typically, these would be maybe Windows performance counters that the vendor OpenText may surface, but they've elected not to. So we have used the COM API to pull this information out. And we can check one or multiple of these. And as we add these, you'll see the different lines and different colors being added to the graph. Uh, obviously, the, the range of data changes. So as it scales, more lines end up at the bottom, all clustered, because we've increased the index here now to 6,000. Um, so if we remove that, you'll see the index is throttling down, and we'll be able to see more information. Where this becomes valuable isn't necessarily by checking all of these on a single server, but if we had 10 different right fax servers, if we looked at the number of faxes received across all 10 or the number of faxes sent across all 10, we could start to plan for capacity in our environment. And that could help us to plan for whether we need more channels or whether we need to upgrade our version of right fax or whether some right fax servers are under a heavy load than other right fax servers. So that can really help from a planning perspective. And then finally, we monitor all of the services within right fax. And each service has a different service view and a different set of collected requirements or collected configuration information that we can see at the bottom. So we've got the doc transport for the OEM module and then the server state your EDC modules, which we don't have in our environment, so they're not showing up. But we also monitor for email gateways. So if you're using notes or just an SMTP gateway or an Exchange gateway or an Office 365 gateway, we'll collect all of that information and we'll show you the health of that by monitoring that on your mail server and detecting where that is. And that does not have to be on the right fax server, could be on the Exchange server. So as long as there's a SCOM agent there, we will monitor and detect that. Here we can see the uh, work server and then the work server module state. So these are what are dynamically detected, obviously with different service names, could be 100 of these or, or 10 of these. We have three and each one is dynamically discovered and monitored. That's a quick look at the right fax management pack, which provides an organization that leverages fax within their business insight and a single pane of glass view into what's going on within their environment and allowing them to be proactively alerted and receive an email notification or even integrate into your existing ticketing system so that when an issue is detected, an alert is raised, a notification sent, and a ticket is open, and people can start working on that to help avoid downtime. I hope, what you, I hope that you've liked what we've shown you today in Infront's Right Facts Management Pack and look forward to speaking to you. You can reach us at mpsales at infrontconsulting.com. Uh, infrontconsulting.com is our website and you can find out more in our software section about the Right Facts Management Pack. Thank you.